Our company is, a, is, is the largest Canadian-owned winery in Canada. In the British Columbia region, we have about 10,000 acres under cultivation, which sounds big, but in the world scale, it's not. We're a very young industry, so we need to get moving quickly and progress quickly. Understanding what's going on in our wines, understanding what's going on in our yeast, those kinds of things um, help us remain competitive as Canadians. Science has developed so rapidly in, in the last 10 years that we, have, we now have access to brand new technologies. And we had one of the first microarray facilities on the UBC campus, one of the first facilities on, in Canada. And and by having this facility, we, we can now do research and establish how the genes and yeast cells are transcribed within two weeks. It usually took a PhD student five years to study how one gene was transcribed. So it's a fantastic facility. It's a matter of answering the question, why is this happening? You know, what is going on with the wine? Seeing on a, on a very small scale, on a DNA scale, what is going on with yeast and with bacteria and in our, our wines. So it's very key, I think. It, it unlocks. The, uh, the secrets that we can't see. Now, we can taste it, we, but we have no idea really what's happening. And so his genomic research gets to the root of what's going on. Spoilage issues, uh, volatile acidity, which is vinegar development uh, by yeast or bacteria. Britannomyces is another one, which is another spoilage yeast that's in wines. And this is around the world, too, these issues. So he's found genes that actually produce that VA, the, the volatile acidity in the wine. So he can do things to turn those off so they don't uh, have a problem in our wine. The wine industry sees winemaking as an art, while there's a lot of science in it. So we try to combine these two, two aspects. In grapes, there's a lot of different clones uh, available, and you know which is the right one, and what flavors do these clones have versus other clones. So having the Chardonnay uh, genome uh, sequence now helps us understand which gene is responsible for which flavor or aroma, things like that. 